Hi everybody, we're Travel and Tantrums. We are going to talk to you today about Ubud. There is the Monkey Forest in Ubud, uh, but there's also another one called Sangay Monkey Forest. The one in the centre of Ubud, uh, that's the more touristy one, right? Yeah, a lot of tourists go there. It's very busy. There's lots of uphills, lots of stairs. It's quite crowded. It was a good. It yeah. was. It was a great day out. Just be prepared. It's not a place you can take. Uh, Prams. Prams, yeah. It, it, it's more likely that you have to take your children on foot. With ours being age three and four, there was a lot of inconvenient steps and paths which we mm. uh, found it hard to navigate. Very, um, very hard. Yeah. Yeah. It is beautiful. Um, and if your children were older, I think you'd really enjoy it. Yeah. I just think with our kids being that age, it was just difficult for us. So yeah. I was quite exhausted by the end of it. Yeah. There is a cafe when you get there on site so obviously you can get some refreshments and yeah. whatnot but they warn you not to bring food, food. in for obvious yeah. reasons and we did see lots of monkeys climbing on uh, people's backpacks yeah, and yeah. going in the handbags so just don't take any food uh, leave all your food behind and um, you won't get attacked by monkeys yeah <laughs> Sangay monkey forest that was a bit further out of Ubud, so probably like a half hour drive. Now, that was the original monkey forest. As soon as you walk through those gates, yeah, yeah. wow, what, what a view. It's, it's a bit smaller. It's uh, much smaller. Not as crowded. Yeah, not as crowded. The monkeys are just better behaved. But the monkey forest Sangay was, I mean, as soon as you walk in, there's the, 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 the huge, there's the huge trees. trees that line the, the walls of that forest and then it just looks spectacular, like something out of a movie. So I would definitely go back there again. The entrance fee is much cheaper than the Ubud Monkey Forest, but it's a bit of a, a bit of a drive out. So we hired a driver to take us there and went there when, when it was nice and early, probably like nine or 10 o'clock in the morning. Very early, hardly anybody there. Yeah, hardly anybody there and you just had the you Monkey Forest You could take your prams as yourself. well. Mm. It's it pram friendly, so you just walked around the whole place in the prams, which was great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, after so, the monkey forest, we then went to the Ubud Bird Park. A little bit interactive. You follow a walking path uh, all the way around the park. We had the birds, didn't we? Yes, there yeah. are interactive parts. You know, they, they give you the parrots to hold, which we did. Yeah, yeah. The one thing I would say about the bird park, though, it was expensive, particularly for a family of four. Very, obviously, tourist orientated, so the mm. prices are, are naturally inflated. So we made a decision on the day not to go to the zoo. And the zoo was a similar price, but we decided to go to the bird park instead. I think it's around 150 in New Zealand for the four of us. Oh yeah. Which, which I thought was, you know, quite up there for for Bali. Yeah. So one good tip when you are in Ubud is, you know, there are plenty of drivers to hire. So go and hire yourself a driver for the day. Although Bali's in, in itself not a, a, a huge island. Um, getting around there can be quite difficult with the, the, the traffic. When we came up with our initial itinerary, the driver told us it was impossible to go and see all of that. So we pretty much cut that down to a local area. And we hired a, actually hired a driver over two days on, on different days to go and see different things in different parts of the island. Yeah. So just be warned when, when you um, are looking at the map of the places you want to go, just be mindful it's very hard to get around. So keep it in kind of segments of the island. So we went to see uh, the bird park, uh, the monkey forest, uh, the Golgajar temple, the Turta temple and the rice fields. Yeah. And that was really, really enough for one day, wasn't it? It was, with two little kids, definitely. Yeah. Uh, our last stop was the rice fields and by the time we got there, the kids were so cranky. We chose not to go in and explore the rice fields. We just went um, to a cafe and, and had a look at how beautiful they were. Yeah. So we hired a driver for the day. Um, we paid about 50 New Zealand dollars. Yeah. So we did that twice. Um, so again, if you're, if you're in um, Ubud, definitely hire a driver. It's really easy to do. Pretty much every resort, every hotel, every street corner, there's, there's somebody who's touting for a driver yeah. and you generally pay around that 50 New Zealand dollar mark is, is probably at the going rate and so yeah definitely worth doing the drivers are really good you know you pick up all the local tips as well where to eat where to stop what's good and so definitely do that if you're in Uber